Hey guys, me Brian for Spooky Leaders here again with another haunted doll tutorial or biography. I don't know, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, today we are going to do Miss Cricket. Here she is. All right. So the history of, of this Cricket doll. And this is the information that was given me. Uh, this was a gift from a YouTube fan. Um, said that she had a haunted doll, wanted to send it to me, and I was like, sure, send it, send her my way. Um, and I said, you know, if there's any kind of story, let me know what kind of story in the history behind this doll and what happened. Well, this doll apparently, um, from what I've been told, moves around in the house, different locations. And supposedly sometimes has a different facial expression. Um, I haven't really seen that, you know, or anything of that nature. But this is a cricket doll. She's pretty old, 1985-ish, somewhere around there. Um, but the story behind this doll is... Special effects can't get any better than that with all this thunder and lightning going on. Is that little girl's soul trapped in this doll? I have no clue. The lady clearly did state that this doll moves around the house, makes facial gestures, and things like that. I see her face. Ooh, she's creepy. Um, and we'll go into a little depth right here. As you can see, uh, well, shit. Actually, you know what? Here we go. Let me get the flashlight. I don't know if y'all can see this. So, there's like a, this is a heavy doll because it has like a, a, a old cassette player type thing in here, you know. It's not like an MP3 player like back nowadays. Um, but yeah, this is a, a Playtime doll in 1985. So, this is an old doll here. Oh, well, let's, let's go ahead and get her naked. Okay, I hate to do this. I'm going all dollophile again. Does <laughs> she just not look creepy as fuck? Yeah, ooh. Creepy, huh? Pretty scary. There's a little cricket right there, huh? Give me the cricket. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off for a second. All right, let me see how to declose this girl here. Once again, I'm going dollar file for you guys. Man, hashtag. That's not my doll. That's not my present. That's not my doll. I ain't no dollar file. Hmm. Feels like it wants to come off. There we go, maybe. She looks like she gave me the finger there. Well, the, the story of this doll is uh, the girl was at a birthday party. And I believe it was her birthday party. And she had got this doll as a gift. She really wanted this doll pretty bad. And, um, you know, she got this doll as a gift. And, uh, take off these shoes on the way home coming from that birthday party they were unfortunately in an act car accident and the girl died in that car accident okay I don't know the gist and the details of how what happened that caused her death I hear that freaking thunder and lightning okay I'm getting all doll file here I'm trying to get this off I think I can take the shoes off there we go look it's pretty cool huh hard plastic shoes Oh, little booties. You see that? But um, she died, and the doll was with them. And uh, I guess the girl was ejected from the car, and this doll was lying next to her, because I'm assuming she was holding the doll at that point in time. And, uh, hold on. I'm going to pause it, because I think I'm past my 10-minute mark. Uh, Mom was devastated. Uh, they found this doll next to the, the girl. Um, who was deceased at that point in time. Dad survived, apparently. And um, mom was devastated for years and years. She tried to apparently, you know, forget about it. And um, throughout the years, things were quiet. And she noticed this doll was moving around the house in different locations, and it wasn't her that was doing it. Was that a way that the daughter was trying to indicate that she was still there or she was trapped in to this doll, her soul was trapped to this doll. I don't know, I mean, that's what they say. Um, sometimes dolls become vessels for uh, people or children or adults or whoever passes away an untimely death, things like that. Or oh, Lordy, we're almost done with the dolly files. Um, so she says that the doll constantly moved. Then she wanted to, she, she, she was just devastated and wanted to get over it so bad, obviously, and she just couldn't, so 
the haunting, the doll movement really wasn't that big of an issue. She was just trying to get over 30 years later, her daughter passing, you know, make peace, so to speak, with, with, with the incident. Um, but the, the more this doll kept moving around the house and the more um, she never changed the, the child's room, it, stayed, it remained the same throughout all these years, apparently. Um, she thought that it wasn't a bad haunting, but she wanted to rid herself of this, this traumatic moment in her life and, and not have to relive it no more. So she said, if, you know, if I wanted this doll, she'd be more than glad to send it to me, which she did. Um, I'm telling you, this doll is a heavy ass doll. Uh, we're down to the bare nitty gritty here at this point. Um, this is what makes her famous. She has this, this is like an old eight track at this point in time. Um, wow, even the batteries, cause I ain't putting on new batteries in this mofo. So uh, that lady must have put these in because I sure didn't. Cause I'm sure Duracells weren't around that long ago. I don't know. I don't know how long ago Duracells have been around. Did you see? Like an old cassette tape. Okay. And then what you do is there's an AC power, so you could probably hook up an AC power plug right here. But um, for you millennials, because I'm always busting you motherfucking millennials, this is not a fucking MP3, iPhone, iPod, nothing. This shit was old school right here. Look, it's got a damn cassette tape. Let's see, we got stop and eject, fast forward, rewind and play. So she was famous for... So see, there's a cassette tape in here that plays. It's got a volume control. <laughs> that is so cool. And she's got all these different sayings and, and, and things like that. Um, I never really played with the whole thing. I don't know the full gist on the cricket doll. I do become kind of leery and skeptical whether this doll moves around the house because let me tell you something. Let me, let me put this back real quick. I'm not debunking saying that that didn't happen, but this is this is one heavy ass motherfucking doll. I mean this this is heavy. I mean this has got to be at least 20 pounds. This doll because of all this mechanical shit here. Um, like I said, she's got a hard plastic face. Supposedly the face moves on this one. Um, I haven't seen anything. And I haven't seen her try to move either because that's a lot of fucking weight to be moving. So um, it does have a little skew tag here. Uh, let's see here, it says the Cricket Playmate toy, but this one says 1986, but the Copyrights 1985 on the back of the neck right here. Um, this one was actually made in China. Go fucking figure, right? Uh, but I ain't got nothing. You know, China fucking rocks. They, they make everything. But she's kind of cool. She's got these little piggy tails. Uh, hair's in good condition. It's not too dry and too brittle. Um, I, I just tell you what, though. This is one heavy ass motherfucking doll. Um, let me go ahead and put it down for a second, or let me just hold it here. This is her clothes. Um, pretty little clothes for original. I should have took pictures, but I'll, I'll do this, uh, I guess, after I redress them, because I'm not going to do that right now. It'll just take forever. Like I said, these cute little shoes. Hard plastic. <laughs> Actually, shoot, I could probably change her pants if I wanted to. It's Harper. Some of Harper's clothes. You know, actually, I got some old clothes of Harper's. Um, but anyways, this is the cricket. That's the story of the cricket doll. Um, if you want, you can look further into more cricket dolls. But this one's supposed to be haunted by a transfer of this child's soul into this doll. I haven't seen the paranormal activity. I haven't seen any of that. But then, like I said, I've been really busy too. But I'm not sitting here monitoring these dolls lately for you guys, which I should. I haven't. Um, raising a baby boy. 
she takes a lot of my time so if you're watching this on my Instagram you got the shorter vision uh, shorter version of this video go to my uh, YouTube channel Brian from Squeaky Laters watch the whole video at that point in time if you're a regular subscriber here on my YouTube channel um, hey appreciate it thank you uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and do what you got to do. Until next time, this is Brian from Spooky Lyrics. Peace out.